the U.S. government is giving free visas, spending money, airfare, and all that you can think about. You are paying nothing, you are traveling for free, no payment for your visas. This is a visa that has been in the system since 2014. Till date, it is still in the system. They have actually opened opportunity for people to apply for 2025 already. So if you want to know more about this, stay tuned. I will be right back. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing a very important and prestigious visa opportunity with you. This opportunity, you're not going to pay a penny for it. It's all free. I have actually been a beneficiary of this visa and it's been such a life transforming opportunity. So I want to share this with you. But before I go into the video for today, I want to welcome all of you who are new here. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rita Siao. I am an educator, an author, a public speaker and the founder of Feminist Africa, a non-profit organization that is working to empower young women and girls. My channel is all about living and working in the UK, motherhood, relationship, personal development, and anything I can share with you to help you grow as an individual. So if you want to know more, please take a seat by subscribing to this channel and also turning on your notification bell so that anytime a new video is up, you will receive a alert from me. Do not hesitate to also share this video because someone out there could benefit from this. Leave a nice comment down there and also like this video because it helps my video a lot. Now, let's go into the details. This is a wonderful opportunity that in the year 2017, I actually benefited from that visa opportunity. I didn't pay a penny. I traveled for free. Um, I was actually even given stipends, pocket money, spending money. And it was such a fantastic opportunity, a life transforming opportunity, a life changing opportunity. That is why as soon as I heard that this visa opportunity is opened again, I said, this is it. I need to share with all of you, my wonderful subscribers. Let's delve into this incredible U.S. government initiative called Mandela Washington Fellowship Program. Mandela Washington Fellowship Program is an incredible U.S. government initiative that aims to empower young African leaders like you. Mandela Washington Fellowship Program is a young African leadership initiative which was launched in 2014 by Barack Obama. This program identifies, supports, and connects young African leaders in the field of business, public management, and civic leadership. Every year, about 700 dynamic young African leaders from sub-Saharan Africa are selected to participate in a six weeks intensive training in universities followed by a summit in Washington, D.C., which is like the climax of the celebration. And some of these young leaders are actually also selected to do their internship in various companies and organizations in the U.S. It is more than just a learning experience. It is a life-changing opportunity to network, collaborate, and implement change in your community. So if you are a young leader already making change and impact in your community, doing something incredible to help your community grow and develop, then this opportunity and this initiative is meant for you. So first, let's go into the eligibility criteria. For you to be eligible, the first and most important thing is that you must be a young African leader from sub-Saharan Africa. You should also be between the ages of 25 to 35. However, exceptional leaders as young as 21 have been accepted into this program. So even if you're 21 to 24, you should still stand a chance if only you have a track record that speaks for itself. The next eligibility criteria is that you must have a track record in the field of business, uh, public service, or civic engagement. If you have a track record in these areas, then you can also apply. Also, strong English language skills are required. So you should have the ability to speak and write in English, communicate in English, which is very, very prominent. This is because the program is done in English language and you should be able to communicate, to be able to read, write, and speak. Uh, communicates fluently in the English language. Finally, and which is very, very important to the US government, is your commitment to returning to Africa, your continent, to apply all the learning, all the experiences that you've gained in your community to promote further development and growth to your people. 
I will now talk you through the process of the application, but I will be doing another video where I'll guide you through the application process and explain what they are expecting and what they are looking for in more details. Be on the lookout for that. Now, if you are new here, I want to say my name is Rita Siao. I welcome you to please subscribe to this channel if you're finding value in this content and do not hesitate to share this video to help someone who is desiring or is on the process looking for a visa to travel for education or for opportunities as important as this. The processes for this application is quite simple, straightforward. There are no complications. So I hope that this is going to be very useful. The first step to applying is going to the Yali website and then looking for the application, which I'm going to leave the link in the description to help you. I will also leave it in the comment section so that you can easily get access to that to apply. Even if you find this video uh, um, later after applications are closed, I believe that it is also going to help you prepare for the next uh, year's application. So when you apply this year, 2024, the visa will be issued and your travel will be in June 2025. So it means if you're watching this, even at a time where applications are closed, go through this, see what you need to get ready ahead of your application the following year. The next step is to prepare a personal statement. This is very vital because it is an opportunity to articulate all your leadership journey, your accomplishments, and what the um, opportunity is going to help you do further in the future. Simply put, how the fellowship would impact your work after you have returned back home. The third thing you need to do is to gather documents which will show evidence of your leadership and your achievements. This could include resume, reference letters, recommendation letters, or any other document that proves that, yes, this is what you have achieved so far. This is your leadership. And this is what you have done in your community to really end this opportunity or to deserve this opportunity. It is a competition. So many people would be putting in a lot. Many people would showcase who they are, what they have done, the impact, how far they've gone to impact and improve the lives of people in their community. So what makes you different? What makes you stand out? This is the part where you show all that is essential to be able to stand out because everybody else will be sharing the usual. The fourth step will be to complete your application form. In filling this form, make sure that everything is accounted for, everything is filled out. You have actually followed the uh, word counts that they have requested for. You are going to be writing ACEs, answering questions that they'll be asking you and make sure that you have not exceeded the expected word counts. Make sure you also check for errors and potential mistakes that you might make. You can even get someone to help you in doing that before you go ahead and do the final thing, which is the submission of the application. Once you know everything is done and thorough, you can now submit the application. Let me put it across that once you have created the account, you can always save and go back to it. Do not submit until you are very sure you have provided everything you need. Your ACs are totally written and correct before you finally press that submit button. This is the most important part of this whole thing that I'm going to share with you. For you to be successful, there are things that you need to do. The first thing, you must make sure you are authentic. Use real life experiences, real stories to show how you have been a great leader, to show your achievement, to show your accomplishment. Be authentic. Be yourself. Do not just copy somebody. Everything you have done as a leader, show this in your writing. Do not just create or generate things that are non-existent because they can see through you. The next thing is to demonstrate your commitment to your community. What impact have you made in people's lives and how do you intend to continue to make that impact to improve the quality of life of people in your community? How are you doing this and how do you intend to continue? Next is to highlight your strength, your unique strength that makes you stand out, you know, among all other people and how that aligns with the goals of the fellowship. Remember, so many young leaders will be applying. In 2017, over 64,000 African leaders applied. Can you imagine? And only 1,000 were selected. So it is very, very competitive. It is not a joke. 
That is why you don't want to put an application that is general like everybody else would do. You need to showcase your unique strength, your talent, your abilities, what you are doing and how you are doing it. The next thing you can do is to reach out to past fellows or uh, Mandela Washington Fellowship alumni who could help you by sharing their personal experiences with you and their thoughts with you and ideas that could help you put in a very strong application. And guess what? I am one of them. All right. So that's why I'm here already sharing with you. So do not hesitate. If you are putting an application and you find a challenge, all you need to do is to email me rita at feministafrica.org and I will be able to step in to help you where it's needed. You want to stand out. You want to be unique. You want to show that you really, really want this opportunity and it means a lot to you. That is why I will repeat Proofread, proofread, proofread. Keep proofreading until you are sure that there are no mistakes. Make sure someone even proofread. Usually what I advise people who want to apply is that copy and paste the questions on your application form onto a Word document. Answer these questions thoroughly. Read the questions again. Read your answer. See where you are falling short or where you think that you need to add something concrete. What is missing? Fill these gaps. Read through again, proofread again and again. You can also share with someone who would proofread for you to correct mistakes. That would be a good way to go about this so that you stand out and your work is thorough. Once your application is submitted and the closing date is up, there will be a review panel that would review all the applications. Then selected people would be notified through emails. Once you have made it through, an email will be sent to you confirming you've made it and also inviting you to the next stage, which is the semifinals, which is an interview in the US embassy in your home country. After this interview, the final list will now be out and people will be notified of their selection for the fellowship in 2025. And that's the part that we all want to get to, right? Get to the final part where you receive that good news that your visa is issued. You're going to have free money given to you. Your stipends will be paid to you. You will be fed. All your needs when you go there will be taken care of. Somewhere around the month of June, you would be back on this trip. There is also another component of this application, which is PDE, Professional Development Experience. Once you're applying for the Mandela Washington Fellowship, you get to a point where they will ask if you're interested in applying for the PDE. Professional Development Experience enables you to do an internship, which is additional six weeks in a company or an organization. Under studying them, you'll be given accommodation, uh, stipends, and taken care of, okay? You'd have uh, people you would work with, someone who will be your coordinator you would work with. So you can actually decide to apply for just the Mandela Washington Fellowship Experience, which is just a six weeks program, or you apply for the Mandela Washington Fellowship Experience and also apply for the Professional Development Experience. Both comes together to make up a three months experience. And you can even stay a couple of months after you are done uh, to explore the US before you come back, depending on the length of your visa which I think is about four to six months visa. It is such a prestigious opportunity. I've experienced this and guess what? I actually even did the, the PDE. I did my internship in uh, Dayton, Ohio, which was such a fantastic experience. This is something that you do not want to miss, guys. You don't want to miss this. It's priceless. It changes your perspective to life. It opens opportunities to you. I'm going to share more about my Mandela Washington Fellowship experience in a different video because I don't want this video to be too long. So guys, this is it for today. If you are interested in applying, I would really like to read your comments. Leave your thoughts in the comment section for me. Are you going to apply for this? And would you apply for the PDE? Is there anything you need help with? What are you doing in your community that you think is outstanding, that you think would help you to end this opportunity. I would love to read from you all. As I said earlier, this opportunity is not just a learning opportunity. If you are into business, you are going to be networking with and meeting great businessmen and women in the US to connect your company to theirs, to see how you can leverage on that or that relationship or that connection to grow your organization. If you are going to be doing the PDE, it's an opportunity for you to do an internship in a company, okay, that aligns with your vision or what you are doing. It could be a nonprofit that you are running. It could be a business you are running. It could be that you are in a leadership position in politics. Whatever you are doing, you have 
great network of people that you are going to be meeting. You are going to meet other young African leaders from different countries in your university and even in your placement. So all I need you to do now is to believe in yourself, have the confidence to apply, apply for it. If you need help, I'm here to help and make sure that you stand out. Okay. I've shared everything that I need to share with you. I don't want to talk too much to make this video long. So I'm going to end it right here and say thank you all so much for watching. If you are new here, my name is Rita Siao. I am an educator, a public speaker, and the author of Your Unstoppable. I encourage you to please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell so that anytime a new video is up, you will receive alerts from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.